Shalom. We the real Hebrews of coming to you weekend with y'all prophesying the truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is a prophecy found in the Holy Bible. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praise and glory honor to the true name, the most high name, and his heavenly son, Yahweh, Baha Shalom, Yahweh Shai, Baha Racha Kodash, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name, Yahweh Shai is the Son name, who the real ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. And Baha Racha Kodash to translate that is in the Holy Spirit, because through the Holy Spirit we're able to understand these prophecies and parables of the Holy Scriptures. Being in these last days. And the one so I elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the elders and men of the Lord that labored in this truth and true sincerity and charity, the holy apostles and men of the Lord back to the reincarnation, doing so as the scripture said they will be doing in these last days. And uh, I just want to go into the uh, scripture of the day, man, about how the most high don't dwell in temples made with hands, as saith the prophets, you know? And um, a lot of our people think, you know, if it ain't coming from the past, if it ain't coming from the church, you know, if it ain't coming from the so-called white man or some other race, it ain't true. You know, but if you got uh, they, they own breaking the word out in the correct way, the correct breakdowns, we're evil spoken of, we're hated. They look at us like, are oh, you niggas, you sinners? You know, but that just fulfilled the scriptures, the base things of the world, man. Confounding the wise. But we know according to the scriptures, the most high is not dealing with modern day pastors. He's not dealing with modern day Christianity, modern day religion. Okay, the Lord's not dealing with that. He's not dealing with any individual who's on the 501c3 charter or set their organization up in a building, a temple, and pushing out false doctrine and charging the people. The Lord is totally against that, man. Because you're not telling the people the truth. You're not warning them. You're not going into the prophecies. You're not speaking to the law and to the testimony. You're not going precept upon precept, okay? You're not breaking it down with the milk scriptures, man. But there's only a select. There's only a few who's going to understand, who's going to receive, who's going to do this work in truth, sincerity, and charity. You know, and it started with our elders on down before Great Millstone was called Great Millstone. But even after that, all the camps and all the men of the Lord that branched off from the righteousness that our elders and did for on down. But I'm just going to the scripture today, man. This is Jeremiah 23 and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my past and say unto the Lord. So the Lord is against you pastors. And many of you Israelites self-proclaiming that you the Lord sent you. Self-proclaiming that you got the understanding of the Bible just to get fame, just to get money. Okay, the scripture talks about people doing that, you know, preaching this word and envy and strife, you know, adding bonds to the men of the Lord, afflictions, further uh, promoting madness and folly in our nation, which the true men of the Lord are set up to defend the gospel, break down strongholds, shed the light in this dark place, you know, and these wicked pastors today, they're not to be trusted. Jeremiah 7 and 4, trust ye not in lying words, saying the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. So you can't trust a man in lying words. They're not speaking to the law and to the testimony. There ain't no light in them. And they come up with a private interpretation and breakdown of the scriptures. It's not facts. The scripture says, you shall know a tree bass fruit. Try the spirit by the spirits. Okay. The scripture says, truth will return unto them that practice in it. Scripture says, let the righteous be righteous still, let the wicked be wicked still, let the holy be holy still. Scripture says, we're going to stand in our lots in the end of days. This Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high daughter of nine temples made with hands, as saith the prophets. And they was quoting what? Jeremiah 7 and 4. Because that's all they had was the uh, Old Testament, you know. And now we have the new and the old, okay? Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Why is wisdom crying without and uttered her voice in the streets? Because Yahweh commanded us to go out in the highways and byways and teach this word and preach this word, you know, and really examine ourselves and live it. She cried in the chief place of concourse. What's the chief place of concourse? When we gather downtown, you know, different parts of downtown, that's the chief, that's the high place where you got, you know, all Jake and all other nations down there. They need to hear this word and hear that judgment. And that's how the Lord set it up. And the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? 
So this is everything we speaking. It's coming straight out the scriptures. Okay, and there's man on the highways and byways on the corners, teaching you this word for the free, showing you how it's done, letting you know how long will you love this simple lifestyle, where they lying to you, poisoning you, trying to uh, murder you, and further uh, do wickedness. How long are you gonna love that? You know how long are you gonna accept that? It says, and the scorners the light in that scorn, and a lot of people just scoff and scorn the truth. The truth is evil spoken. Now the scripture says, Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? The scripture says, He that depart from evil shall make himself a prey. People scorn and they scoff the truth, you know, amongst many other worldly things. But you know, the tr the truth is really hard to under be understood. The Lord just have to open your mind and choose you, man. You can't choose the Lord. You know. But, um, you know, and it's a little sad note, you know, uh, y'all stay with the type of, y'all stay out them churches, be safe, they spread madness. I don't care what he did or said. Some got good intentions, some don't. Some ignorant willingly, some not. That's what it is, man. Just a little quick scripture of the day. So to meditate on, keep pushing this word out, because that's what scripture says we will have to do. Faith and works go hand in hand. That's how you're going to be saved on a minor scale. But really, it's through the grace and mercy and sacrifice of the Heavenly Father, Son, Yahweh Shabbat, and believing on His name and calling on His name and following and repenting and following after Him. Because we just earthly vessels having this knowledge to push forward and keep teaching, which the Lord commanded His servants to do. You know? So now you know, man. Stay out of the churches. Lord, hope the last was out of fine. Shalom.